Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Paul from Vintage Sports God Finds. Today, I went over to the outdoor flea market where uh, I ran into some deals. Um, there's there was a fella who I really only had I really only found two dealers, but they had some cool stuff. So I'm going to show that to you now uh, and what I picked up. Uh, I thought I did okay. Uh, these are 1963s. I don't have a ton of 1963 cards, so I felt pretty comfortable buying these. Um, he had them at about a dollar a piece. Uh, I ended up picking up 21, 21 of them. So, uh, some team cards, the Los Angeles Angels. Uh, apparently I picked up two Los Angeles Angels. Uh, Bertie Te uh, Tebbets, Bob Will. Most of them commons, nothing overly spectacular. I just kind of like the condition of the cards. They were overall pretty nice cards, uh, you know, miscut. But for the most part, I tried to pick out the better ones. I uh, didn't see the little bit of corner crease on that, but not bad. Uh, but they they look fairly clean. So uh, I felt okay picking these up for about a buck 63s are tough uh and it was always nice to find them like when you can actually look at them yourself uh instead of kind of hoping that a lot from ebay will come in in good shape uh 63s 62s uh 61s and 60s tend to be a little bit tougher uh, again, nobody's nothing spectacular that stands out in here, but but I thought a nice. I mean, if I was buying from eBay, it wouldn't be out of the realm of possibility to pay a dollar per card. Uh, and on these, I dropped twenty bucks uh, for these cards: Don Hoke uh, and Earl Francis. Yeah, so they, they were pretty clean, so I was willing to take a shot on them. Uh, and since I don't have a ton of 63s, I thought it was a pretty good gamble. Uh, then there was some... He also had a 50-cent bin. So I bought these cards here, the Cincinnati Reds team card from 61. A um, little wax on the back. Thought this was a nice card, Walt Frazier... I, I have this set complete. I'll just kind of take a peek to see if this Walt Frazier is better than the one I have. And then if not, I'll, uh, you know, sell this one on eBay. Um, this one here, this is also not million percent positive of which year this is. I uh, have to look into that one trying to see if I could tell by the guys in the picture. Uh, maybe you guys can help me in the comments exactly what year this is. Uh, is this a... What do we got here? Well, we'll look into that one. Look, I think that's from the 50s. This is a 61 Tracy uh, Stallard rookie, Red Sox. So for 50 cents, I'll always buy uh, 61s if I can get them for 50 cents a piece. Bill Harrell, Boston Red Sox. This one looks pretty good too. Uh, it, if I need it for my set, great. If not, uh, this would be a nice um, one I can, uh, you know, sort of uh, maybe upgrade my Red Sox binder with if, if I have this card in there. Uh, this is a 56 Johnny Antonelli, New York Giants. So to pick up, pick this one up for 50 cents, uh, I'll do that all day long. Uh, and another 63, uh, Lou Burdett. This one I was able to get for 50 cents. So, and it's a, a bigger number, 429. So, um, I'll take that for 50 cents absolutely it looks like it's in pretty good shape maybe a little bit of a wrinkle up there in the corner but overall nice uh and then another um card 
from that year. Uh, I think this is 59 or 57. This one's all marked up. So we'll, I'll have to double check which year that is. Uh, but I think it's from the late 50s. Uh, then the big thing I bought from that dealer was these cards. Uh, I was able to pick these cards up. We sort of wheeled and dealed. Uh, I'll always pick up 56s. And these were so nice. Um, so I'll just kind of pop through some of these. Uh, Dean Stone, Washington Nationals. These are 56s. They just look crisp. Uh, he kept saying, you know, these are beautiful. They're clean, he called them. Uh, Mayo Smith, uh, manager, Philadelphia Phillies. Um, there is some duplication in here, uh, but I didn't care about that. Dunk, uh, Kaiser. These, I basically asked him, you know, what he could do on these. Uh, the He did not have these as the price, Gene Baker, Chicago. Uh, you know, he, he had these stickers, but I don't think these were his stickers. He's like, look, I, I'd be at five bucks a piece on those. Uh, and instead of like just picking out, every, you know, one or two or whatever, I asked him, you know, what could you do if I bought them all? Uh, Joe Frazier. Uh, and he said, you know, they're so nice. I I'd be at four bucks minimum. So I paid him that there were 15 cards. Uh, so I paid him 60 bucks for these cards. Hank Bauer, 56, New York Yankees. Some really nice looking cards. They were, they are, he was right. They were in, in, in immaculate shape. Another Hank Bauer. Um, so there was some duplication, but not a ton. Uh, Joe Black. But the cards were so nice. I, I mean, the colors were nice on them. Um, really crisp. So I was like, hell, for four bucks a piece, I can't really go wrong with that. Uh, Harvey Kuhn. Uh, this one, Detroit Tigers. I mean, they, they are beautiful, beautifully conditioned. You know, most of the time when you're trying to pick up a lot of these, they look like, you know, dog poop. So the fact that these appear to be wrinkle free. Um, Alex Kellner, uh, but you guys can let me know in the comments if you thought I did, I did well in, uh, paying four bucks a piece for these. I think so. You know, these probably book around 10 bucks, uh, especially in this condition, I'm guessing. Uh, so Frank Thomas, not the big hurt. Wally Post. Uh, Cincinnati. It's a really nice cards. I was really excited to get these. Anytime I can get mid fifties and back, I I try to I try to buy them. I mean, I know it's going to cost me a little bit more money, but but I try to pick them up. And these were in such such high quality condition. Gene Woodling. Uh Jackie Jensen. So, really. Not a lot of duplication. I thought there was more duplication, but there isn't. Uh, just that one card, it looks like, and Bob Speak. Um, so it, it looks like it's just that one card. So it looks like 14 out of 15 uh, different cards. And then, of course, the reason I went to the flea market today was these were the other, the other little bit I picked up was these cards um, – because I was going to see a dealer that's there every week and he had these cards um, and I paid 10 bucks for these, these three cards. Uh, these cards go to my 71 set. So this is an update on a 71. Uh, Dick Selma, high number, 705. Uh, I went there with my list finally and I sort of banged it out. Uh, Jim Qualls, Qualls. Um, again, high number 731. Um, I went there hoping to really reduce my list because he did have a ton of 71s and I went through them all, but I only, was only able to find three cards that I needed. But, you know, I, I'm in a pretty good position as it pertains to this set. 
I'm somewhere in the neighborhood of needing maybe 40 cards. Um, so if you've got any 1971s that you're looking to sell, uh, you got a list uh, of cards that you're looking maybe to sell. Um, you can feel free to message me in the comments. Uh, I'd love to pick them up from you. Uh, and then Daryl Cheney, this card was really, really nice. You know, it, of course, it's got its issues, but overall looks pretty sharp. And this card 632. So these three cards I knew I needed. Um, and I told him, the dealer, I basically explained to him, I said, hey, look, uh, you have some really nice condition high numbers and I might be interested in, um, you know, upgrading mine because I know I have a ton of high numbers that are just beat to heck. Uh, you know, you just find them when you can find them. You know what I mean? Uh, but if I could upgrade them using this big lot that he's got, uh, you know, that might be something I'd be willing to do, especially because he has like really sharp, nice condition cards. And any of the ones that I have that are really ratted out with, you know, four banged up corners and, and some creases and whatnot, I would love to get, you know, get rid of those cards if I could. Um, so I told him I would put together a list of absolutely cards that I need to million percent upgrade uh, and then sort of go through that box again and see if I couldn't pick him up. And he was willing to do that. Uh, I know there was another guy there with some interest in 71. So uh, that batch might be reduced a little bit more uh, by the next time I get to it. But I would say that the big, those are the big hits today where uh, getting this 56 lot and the 71s that I absolutely know I need to come towards completing my set. Uh, so I was super stoked. Uh, and, you know, whenever I can go to the to that flea market and find some stuff, uh, some real, you know, 50s vintage stuff, I'm always excited about that. Well, that's it for this video, guys. I want to thank you so much for watching. As always, uh, comment, like, share, subscribe uh, if you so see fit. Uh, thanks for all your support. And as always, happy hunting. Thanks, guys.